Hey, how's it going everyone? Just Mueller again here. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to spot hidden divergences and how to trade with the trend. In this case, this was a free trade that I popped out in my free Telegram channel. Uh, check it out down below. I'll also talk about that later on in this video. Uh, I like my Osprey FX polo. I love this. This is the broker I use. They sent me a free polo. I found that pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, save this video, download it, whatever you need to do. This video is gonna help you a whole lot learn how to trade with the trend. You know that term, the trend is your friend? Well, this is gonna help you spot uh, when you're in a trend and how to trade with it, all right? So let's get to it. Hey everyone, Justin Mueller again here with Pips Ahoy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to trade a hidden divergence. Now, if you don't know what a hidden divergence is, that means a trend continuation. So as an example, if you spot a hidden divergence while there is a downtrend, then there is a high probability that it will keep on going down, that it will keep pushing to the downside. If you spot a hidden divergence when there's an uptrend, there's a possibility that it will keep pushing up to the upside. Now, there are two different types of hidden divergences. There's a bearish hidden divergence, which means a continue pushing down, and a bullish hidden divergence, which means a continue pushing up. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to spot both. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna give you access to my cheat sheet right here. So here's my cheat sheet. Regular bullish divergence when price creates a lower low, but the OBV creates a higher low. Bearish divergence, when price creates a higher high, but OBV creates a lower high. Bullish hidden divergence, when price creates a higher low, but the OBV creates a lower low. And bearish hidden divergence, when price creates a lower high, but the OBV creates a higher high. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out my free Telegram channel, which again is linked down below. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. I am very impressed at how fast this thing grew. It's been a little over one month since I released this and it's been blowing up like crazy and I've helped a lot of people make a lot of money, catch a lot of pips. Uh, I'm very impressed with what you guys are already doing with my free knowledge and so I can I want to say congrats to everyone. So in my free Telegram channel and my VIP Telegram channel, which is linked down below as well if you want to get access to that, the free Telegram channel, I pushed out this trade. So as you can see, let's first let me show you this, then let's look at our cheat sheet so we can see what type of divergence this is. As you can see, this is the four hour time frame. This is an image, by the way. I took a screenshot before and after. Starting from up here to down here, it's creating lower highs. So here's a high, here's a high, and it's creating lower highs. But the OBV, it's creating higher highs. So starting from the same position down here, see, you look straight down, it's creating higher highs, but price is creating lower highs. So let's go ahead and look at our cheat sheet. Price is creating lower highs, OBV is creating higher highs. Right here, bearish hidden divergence. Price, lower high, OBV, higher high. Trend continuation down. So, how do you know when to place a sell? How do you know when to get into the trade if it's gonna keep on pushing down? This is where we use basic technical analysis. In this case, we're gonna draw from wick to wick. So you see up here where I drew from wick to wick, I set a sell limit, as you can see right here, I set a sell limit right there. So once it touches, once it touches the trend line, it's gonna spike down. Now, Justin, how do you know where to place your take profit? Well, look right here. Right here is support. So you see this level of support? I placed my take profit right there. I could have placed it lower, but I placed it right there. That's about 50 pips. I could have placed it at technically 60 or 70 pips. Now, let me go ahead and show you actually what happened right after that. It dropped. It dropped straight down. And actually, if we go ahead and look at price right now, as you can see, it fell down even lower. So our 50 pip take profit was right here. It went way past 100 pips right after I made that call. Literally right after I gave out that free call on my free Telegram channel, spiked straight down. Now, I will admit I was not able to get into the trade because see where it spiked down? Right there. Now let's go ahead and look at the image. I missed the sell limit by two pips. Two pips. So trust me, I was upset. But hey, you just got to move on. You're going to catch a million trades. Uh, don't get fixated on one trade. If you if you missed it, no worries. You'll catch the next one. But I was so pissed that I missed that one. That would have been an easy 50 to 100 pips for me. But I'm very happy that a lot of my members, my free members and VIP members, actually got into the trade manually. They manually placed a sell because they pretty much spotted what happened. They spotted, oh, we're gonna miss the trend line by a little bit, so I might as well get into the sell now. And even if I have a five or 10 pip drawdown, it's worth the wait because it'll drop. And I had about 10 or 15 members reach out to me and say, dude, I made a lot of money off that call. So 
this right here, it's not a guarantee that it's always going to work for you. But this right here is how I trade hidden divergences. If you're in a downtrend, in this case, we're creating lower highs, but the OBV is creating higher highs. You're going to draw from wick to wick a trend line. And when it touches the trend line for a third time, or just when it touches it again, if you're still spotting hidden divergence, there is a good possibility it's going to reverse to the downside. And the exact same concept happens, but for a bullish hidden divergence, where if the price action is going down, blah, 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 you know, you, you place a buy at the trend line and it spikes up, right? So exact same thing, but for a bullish hidden divergence that you spot in the market. So I hope that gave you a better insight towards what a hidden divergence is. Don't forget, here is my cheat sheet. Pause, pause the screen right now, write this on your phone, and uh, this is going to help you see what I see in the markets. So with that being said, we are at 26,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh, just about two months ago, we were at like 8,000 subscribers. So I am pretty certain that by the end of 2020, I could have 100K subscribers or less uh, or more, sorry. And I could actually get myself the silver play button. That's always been a goal of mine ever since YouTube came out with their awards. So thank you to everyone who's subscribing and liking my content. Actually, if you want, let me go ahead and show you how I did today for Brexit. Oh my goodness, man, I really dominated the market today for brexit uh pulled in about 2400 bucks so yeah i didn't have to show you that don't mean to flex on you but <laughs> but i had <coughs> i'm dying right here i had a lot of fun during this mainly because i didn't trade the initial move i waited for it to spike up then once it hit the resistance on the monthly trend line for gbp jpy i placed this, a bunch of cells and i wrote it down i pretty much scalped it all the way down so i know 100 pips is not a scalp but it was moving so fast you might as well consider it a scalp but anyways that's it guys take care and i will see you in the next video